Hello and welcome to a chip off the old block toys. I'm Jeff and today I've got a very simple Star Wars set to review. I know it's Thanksgiving and traditionally I usually do a thank you video on Thanksgiving but I just did one earlier this week because I hit a thousand subscribers so um, I'm not going to do the traditional video because that is the thing I'm most thankful for. So is hitting a thousand subscribers so thank you each one of you and speaking of it if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing hit the like button comment below and turn on all notifications okay so what we have in front of me is we have set number seven five three four six it is called the pirate snub fighter it has 285 pieces two minifigures and it retails for 34.99 by the way uh, both these minifigures in this set are unique to this set meaning there's no other set that has them and we have simply the snub fighter pilot which I know not much of a description uh, and this is vain over here I hear he's very vain anyway um, and then here we have the snub nose fighter which is nine and a half inches long six inches wide and two inches tall for those on the metric system that is 24 by 15 centimeters by 5 centimeters tall so yeah just a very basic set and what we have here is the evaluation and we always go off of value creativity playability ease of build and part out value and we go from 0 to 10 on those and then we take this the sixth rating is when we average those first five numbers and give you an overall ranking so let's start with the value uh, it does retail for 34.99 285 pieces and two minifigures that works out to 12.3 cents per piece for a licensed set. Not a bad value, actually a very good value. Uh, the only thing I don't like, and you guys know this, all right, if you've watched my channel, I don't like stickers. And this had six stickers on it. So I will deduct a point, otherwise it'd be a 10. I'm gonna give it a nine. As far as creativity, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's got this little compartment back here, which this box goes into, as you see. So I think that's pretty cool. And we got uh, the cockpit that opens up with little controllers here, little handles to control it. And we've got the little shooters here on the bottom. We got two of them, one right here and one right here. So it's a pretty decent set. And overall, the creativity is a 10. Playability is a 10 too, because there's so many other Star Wars sets. I mean, come on. Uh, if you're not having fun with a couple Star Wars sets, you ain't doing it right. So playability is definitely a 10. The ease of build, I'll give an eight. It wasn't a particularly hard build, but if I gave it a 10, that means it's the easiest build ever, and it's not quite that. There is one instruction booklet with this one, and 94 steps, which makes it almost three pieces per step, which isn't that bad. So I'll give that an 8. Part out value is also an 8, and that's because, well, with the stickers being on these tails, that kind of makes it hard to use it for something else. And also these wedge plates kind of make it hard as well, unless you're into building like military stuff, which is forbidden by Lego company itself. Just kidding. Um, it's a joke. Uh, and if, you, if you're on the long, online forums, you know what I mean. That, that question seems to come up about once a week. Uh, but anyway, it does have some wedge plates that are hard to use somewhere else. So I'll give that part out value an eight. But overall, that gives it a ranking of 9.0. So it's got a good overall ranking, I think, and $34 isn't bad for what you're getting here. So if you'd like to, to get that and you got $35 spare, uh, go jump on over and get this set. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and leave me a comment below. I do respond to most comments, and I do appreciate comments. Also, guys, if you want to help out the channel, I'll give you several ways. First one, please watch another video right after this one. The algorithm loves it when you guys do it. So if you got a few more minutes and you find another video of mine that's five to ten minutes and you have that time, please watch another one. Another way you can do it, it help out the channel, is head over to PayPal. There is a link in the description if you want to financially support the channel and you can. If you can't, that's perfectly okay. I appreciate all likes, comments, subscribing, all that. I, I like all of it. So if you can't support me that way, please uh, financially, please do the other way. If you need pieces for your builds, well, you're in luck. I have a BrickLink store. It has about 850,000 pieces. Head over there. We usually ship within one business day. And uh, basically, we offer great service. And you get pieces for your builds. And I get money that I need to continue the channel. So it's a win-win for both of us. Also, if you want to help out the channel, you can uh, head over to 
like let's say you're on uh, Instagram, you can share a link to one of my videos over there or any other place you might find yourself uh, on social media. Just get the word out there for me. I can't afford a marketing department, so if you'll do that, be my marketing department for me, you know, that's greatly appreciated. All right, guys, I do hope you enjoy your holiday. I'm going to be uh, visiting my parents for the holiday, and, of course, other family will be there, so it'll be a great time. It always is when the family gets together. We're a little bit of a wild bunch. So, all right, guys, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on my next video.